people are guessing that because the characters are green, that it's hinting to Green Mage. However, the turtles are also named after famous Renaissance artists, so another theory is that it's Pictomancer. An interesting thought just occurred to me. Perhaps Kral discovering the earring mentioned in her grandfather's letter that has nothing to do with Green Mage at all. Oh my god! That earring couldn't have been more of a red herring! At least my prediction was only half right. Pictomancer was announced during the 2024 Tokyo Fan Fest, answering one of two major questions we've all suspensefully waited five months for. In the full 7.0 trailer, after we've witnessed our beloved redheaded Tia with a taco, admits vibrant streaks and radiant embellishments, our favorite Lollafell in yellow takes center stage. Armed with a magical brush and painter's palette to paint the literal skies with, Kryle introduces us to the highly anticipated new caster job, the Pictomancer. We interrupt Final Fantasy XIV to bring you Splatoon! But at the end of the day, what do we really know about Pictomancer? And what can we speculate about the job given what we've been presented during the keynote? As a reoccurring job in the Final Fantasy series, Pictomancer is characterized by its unique use of brushes as weapons to create magical portraits of targets for performing enemy abilities. Realm Arony of Final Fantasy VI utilizes the sketch command to accomplish this feat, while in Final Fantasy Brave Exivus, she specializes in dealing magical damage, offering healing, and support for the party. So let me get this straight. I can use not suited for work art to destroy my enemies? Sounds like just another Tuesday on Reddit. I'll do anything, I'll do whatever it takes to... All jokes aside, what exactly does this mean for Pictomancer in Final Fantasy XIV? Starting at level 80 in Gridania, our iteration of Pictomancer will also wield a magical brush as their primary weapon, allowing them to paint not just creatures, but weapons and intricate landscapes as components of their arsenal. But because such powerful invocations take time, we will have a series of insta-casting spells and abilities as part of our repertoire while gradually building up to more elaborate evocations. From what we can observe in the job trailer, we have paint with a fiery red explosion, a purple slash of lightning flash, a yellow splotch with earthy gouache, and an icy blue dash of hue. Sorry, I couldn't help myself. Please forgive me. Notably, almost every DPS class offers some form of beneficial buff to the party, except for samurai. But... We don't talk about Bruh. It's also safe to assume that, like all DPS classes, we will possess both single-target and multi-target attacks, which will contribute overall to the empowerment of our more powerful spells. I imagine there might be a balancing requirement between the elemental paints, similar to how red mages balance between white and black magic. Like a painter's palette, by combining and mixing different colors, we're able to expand our range of artistic creation. As a side note, I find it interesting that only four out of the six elements are showcased in the job trailer. While it remains uncertain whether paint colors representing wind and water will be included, Kryle's palette did feature both blue and green during the opening trailer, so I suppose only time will tell what our toolkit will look like. Regrettably, Pictomancers will not possess any sort of resurrection spell that Red Mages and Summoners have. Despite lacking the raw power of Black Mage and the revival capabilities of Summoners and Red Mages, Pictomancers will still bring substantial damage with their painterly skill set as well as much needed party support abilities to the table. Their unique combinations of skills make them a captivating and welcome addition to the roster of playable jobs. As a graphic and digital artist myself, I am particularly excited to play We don't make mistakes. We have happy accidents. I'm only saddened that I won't be able to use my drawing tablet to scribble not my way through Dawn Trail. The next question then is how landscapes, creatures, and weapons fall into this mix. This is where we might be able to look at our ranged distant cousins for clues. Dancer has the ability to play Magical Simon Says with their standard and technical steps which provide AoE buffs to the party, while bards have their songs which empower not only their own abilities but also provide that same party support as well. I think this is where our landscapes come in, where we mix different hues depending on the kind of area effect or landscape we want to provide, with different landscapes offering different buffs depending on the color combinations used. Unfortunately, we don't know much more about how weapon evocations might work since they weren't showcased during the keynote. However, we do get examples of creature creations with the summoned Moogle in the job trailer and with Kryle conjuring a painterly Spriggan during the 7.0 trailer. I'm sure with building up our instacast spells, we'll be able to earn enough resources with our gauges to call forth different creatures, especially with trait enhancements, as we level up. 
As an additional fun little side note, while I was revising this script, I had shared the draft of it with some of my FC friends. One of them commented, You know that they're adding to the Golden Saucer when Pictomancer comes out, and I swear to God, if they add Splatoon into the Golden Saucer, I'm gonna fucking strangle you. Well, thanks for that theory, Alt. You've made it into the video. He then proceeded to flip me the bird. I'm very eager to see how accurate my speculations are when Dawn Trail finally releases in the summer. I'm also curious about what potential role Cryl will play going forward since we get an environmental change during the later part of the expansion with Solution 9. A Pictomancer in a predominantly digital, high-tech, Tron-inspired setting will be interesting. Let's just hope a theorist doesn't learn about Mid-Journey. That's all I have for now. I'm sure we'll get more updates on Pictomancer with future live letters from the producer. But until then, if you enjoyed my musings in this video, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe, or you're going to make this Picote cry. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next time.